Top 5 quality of life things either removed from the game or altered in a way that makes them no longer convenient. Number 5. Engineering Tinkers While Tinkers are still very much in the game, they used to be a lot more convenient. You could put Tinkers on your boots, gloves, belt, helm, and back. Not just your belt and back like today. This gave engineers all kinds of fun little extra effects and gave classes that don't use all their global cooldowns like rogues extra DPS. You used to be able to turn your helm into a mind control helm, your boots into rocket boots, your belt into a bomb dispenser, your gloves into a hand mounted pyro rocket, and your cloak, well that, that one's still the same. Now you just choose two tinkers, one for your back and one for your belt. And most of them are just watered down versions of their wrath counterparts. So where does the quality of life change come into play? Well, allowing any class to have an on-demand speed boost, a slow fall, plus extra AoE damage was pretty convenient. And the belt could have other tinkers besides the bomb. You could also have an invisibility cloak, or a shield that would absorb a respectable amount of damage. Now don't get me wrong, engineers still have pretty much all those tinkers, even if most of them are nerfed versions of their former selves. But you used to be able to have both a parachute cloak and rocket boots, in addition to three other tinkers with fun and useful effects. Now you have to choose one plus a slow fall, when it used to be choose three plus a slow fall and speed boost. Number four, the Aqua Jewel. An item that dropped in Mist of Pandaria that increased swim speed by 50% and gave you underwater breathing for 10 minutes. A very convenient tool to have on you when needing to swim anywhere, which happens quite often in the world. I actually carry around a stack of swim speed potions when out and about in the world since it's really great to just swim faster rather than very slowly when you're forced to do so. And the Aqua Jewel was like a infinite stack of slightly slower swim speed potions. Until Legion, that is. When it was turned into a toy, it made only usable in Pandaria. No more using it in dungeons or battlegrounds or anywhere useful. Now it's just kind of a thing you'll forget you have when questing through Pandaria. Number 3. Findle's Looterang. Another item that was incredibly useful and then nerfed with a ton of other useful toys in Legion. Once you get used to using a Looterang, you can't go back to the old archaic caveman way of actually going up to mobs and looting them like some kind of savage. Now you just use your 3 second cooldown looter ring to do it for you. And it was also incredibly useful outside of just being a tool of convenience. If a mob died up a slope or in an area where you literally could not get to, you wouldn't have to worry since the looter ring could just grab them from where you were. But sadly, it was made a Draenor exclusive item. But there is a bright side to all this. There is another toy simply called Looterang, which requires you to be an engineer to use that can be used everywhere like how Findles used to be. You just simply have to be an engineer to use it, which of course is not very convenient. Number two, the Brulefist Idol. At the start of Legion, with a combination of the Brulefist Idol and the Rockfeather Skyhorn Kite, you could mimic the effects of Aviana's Feather, which was an item in Warlords that would throw you super high into the air and give you a Goblin Glider, allowing you to essentially glide wherever you wanted before you could fly. Since Aviana's Feather was made only to work in Draenor, Legion players would just use two different items to gain the same effect, and the Brolfist Idol only had a 5 minute cooldown, with the kite only having a 2 minute cooldown, making it almost better than Aviana's Feather since it could be used more often. So what happened? Well, the idol was nerfed in a hilarious way. You see, instead of sending you up super high to allow you to glide places, it instead sends you up a little bit higher than you can jump. It's so pitiful compared to what it used to be you can't help but laugh. Oh, and the kite got its own nerf as well. They changed its reasonable 2 minute cooldown into a weird 15 minute cooldown. A little bit of an over nerf there, eh, Blizzard? So why would Blizzard nerf the two item combo so hard when they pretty much let people use Aviana's Feather all of Draenor with little problems? You could even use the Feather outside of Draenor until recently. Well, that's because those two items used with a third item basically allows you to fly. The third item, of course, is Emerald Winds, which, funny enough, you get from doing a challenge from Aviana. 
If you use the idle to knock you into the air, then use the kite to glide, and then used Emerald Winds, you could stay in the air and basically keep the same altitude for two minutes straight, since Emerald Winds allows you to keep jumping in the air as long as you don't hit the ground. So rather than nerf Emerald Winds, they decided to nerf the idle and the kite instead. The idle isn't even really useful anymore, but at least the kite still functions the same way. It just has a really long cooldown. All right, and now it's time for number one. The most quality of life thing removed from the game. I should probably mention, Blizzard usually makes the game more convenient over time, so there weren't much things to choose from. Except I pretty much got the idea for this video from the number one thing on this list. And that's of course, Have Group Will Travel. Have Group Will Travel was a guild perk ability that would teleport everyone in your raid to your location, making grouping up in an instance the easiest thing ever. No longer did you have to have a warlock in his dumb portal or stand outside the raid zone, summoning everyone one by one with the stupid summoning stone. Just one button and presto, everyone in your raid is where you're at in an instant. It was, without a doubt, the most convenient thing ever put into the game, lasting an entire expansion, then taken away out of malice. Blizzard wanted warlocks to be useful or something, or maybe because the ability could be used anywhere and not just inside raids and dungeons, which allowed people to exploit it. Who knows, maybe Blizzard wanted people to actually know how to find raids in the future and not just be effortlessly teleported to them. Whatever the reason, it was a stupid reason. Have Group Will Travel was not the only convenient guild perk removed. No, not by a long shot, the Quick and the Dead, which gives you 10% more movement speed while dead, used to be 100% extra move speed, making running back to your corpse a lot easier. Guild cauldrons used to be a thing. Think feasts, except for flask. You set out a cauldron and everyone just gets to click on it, and it would give you a flask appropriate for your spec, making handing out flasks for raids easy peasy. Then there was Mass Res, which was a guild perk all the way until very recently, which allowed a hunter or rogue who happened to leave combat in a raid fight actually being able to res the whole raid. Healers can still Mass Res, but giving DPS players the ability to res was what was super helpful. And those are just a few of the perks removed. Guild perks used to give you more XP from leveling, more gold from monsters for the guild bank, longer food and flask buffs, less durability loss from death, more mats when using a gathering profession, better discounts from vendors, and much, much more. So many neat things removed from the game with no alternatives put in to make it up. But even with all these perks removed, I can understand the reasoning behind them being taken away. They were all so good that it basically punished you for not having a max level guild, which took quite a while to accomplish. I personally think they should have just made these perks easier to get, but I guess removing 90% of them works too. 